the term star seed or star nation is going to be different per teacher or teachings, but I can share what star seed and star nation mean to the Sophia Dragon Tribe and what it's meant to me. And so for me, um, I'll start with star nation because you can't really understand the concept of a star seed without understanding the concept of a star nation. So the star na- when we use the term star nation in the Sophia Code, it's actually reserved for an ascended civilization, not just a, a not just um, a species from another planet. So we're not when we call in the star nations of the Sophia Dragon Tribe, we are only working with a civil star civilizations that have ascended in their star system that are providing prolific wisdom teachings and transmissions on the topics of sovereignty and embodying our divinity. So we're, we're working with golden age, masterful ascended civilizations from the Pleiades, from Andromeda, from Sirius. Um, So, you know, when we do that invocation, we're not, when we, when I say star nation, or when it's written in the Sophia Code, we're not just talking about all the different kinds of species across the multiverse, which are too many to count. Like there are so many other races of beings. Like there's like literally there's too many of them to even identify. So the star nation is a title of respect. It's a title that we've placed on high councils from other star systems that are have really earned the right to be a a voice in in the ascension teachings of the Sophia Dragon Tribe. So with that said, star seeds are in many ways members of those civilizations that have chosen to incarnate here on earth and to leave the radiance of their ascended civilization to be able to come down Um, and bring that great light of their star nation into a human body here on earth. So it's a very conscious choice to leave an ascended civilization and to come and be here in a human body. And so star seeds have an understanding intuitively, number one, that earth is not what feels like naturally like home to them. Uh, unless you're a star seed from the center of the earth, because there are ascended civilizations on inner earth. And star seeds are filled with an understanding that they're here on a mission and that they take their divine purpose. They're very cognizant that they have a divine purpose. Even if they don't know what the divine purpose is, they're very cogn- cognizant of, I'm here for a reason and I have to figure this out. I have to, I, I'm supposed to help some way. I don't know how, but, and, um, they're often very intuitive, um, psychic, creative, um, and 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 more in tune with quantum reality versus linear reality. So sometimes it takes a lot for a star seed to to ground, to anchor into the human experience. Um, and, uh, and I know for myself, it took a lot of time and practice to become this disciplined and this human. Um, you know, if you identify as a star seed, there's unique growth curves for being human. Um, but if you're able to face those growth curves, they bring a lot of depth, um, and insight into the human experience that you can offer your clients, your friends, and your community members. You're bringing a perspective, a, a higher perspective, uh, from, a, from a, a more ascended place into this world that is really struggling with its ascension. So in many ways, star seeds bring different pieces of wisdom and information from how their people ascended at another time. And they're bringing that as a con- contributing factor to our human collective prayer to ascend here and now in this lifetime. 